We've got one asking specifically, how can we help someone after they've had knee replacement and still experiencing pain, primarily on the inner side of the knee? Okay. Well, when you've had a knee replacement, um, you have to make sure that you're maintaining the bones so that the, the bones grip the replacement. Uh, if you're not maintaining the bones, what happens is all cells in your body go away. Nothing lives forever. Uh, your red blood cells live 120 days. Uh, bone cells, uh, not the minerals, but the bone cells live for maybe a couple of months. Same way with liver cells, you know, live for a couple of months and they die and then you replace them with new ones. Well, the same thing is true with bones. And I like to tell people when you have a knee replacement or a hip replacement, your bones are going to look at that the same way that a tree looks at a, a, a fence wire that's been nailed to the tree. The bark will grow over that wire and um, trying to sort of protect the tree from the irritation of the wire. The same thing is true. You want your bones to overgrow that knee replacement so that you hold the spikes in place so they don't wallow around in there. If you're not rebuilding, constantly rebuilding your, your bones, uh, the bones go away. That space that the, that the um, artificial knee, the, the prosthesis, uh, that spike is down in a hole. That hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger and begins to wallow around and it's very painful. So we have what we call uh, the healthy bone and joint pack. I like to use it to one healthy bone and joint pack for 100 pounds of body weight. And then make sure I throw in the vitamin D3 added to that extra and also the MSM from our free life division. And that's going to give the bones everything it needs to grow around that prosthesis and keep it immobile so it doesn't wallow around in a, in a hole that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's where the pain comes in. 